Caray. Hi gamers, Neil here. I'm back with another crew review video for One Piece Straw Hat Chase Voyage Chronicles. In this video, I'm going to review Garp. I'm going to review this hero's skill set, give you guys some recommendations for Haki, runes, team formations, and more. At the end of this video, I will give this hero a rating based on my play experience. Also, if you are interested in tier lists for this game, links in the description. First, some background story. Gap is a Navy Vice Admiral and a legendary figure from the times of the Pirate King Goldie Roger. In this game, Gap is a single bust DPS. His first skill, Sleepiness, puts him in an immune or debuff state, increased crit rate and damage reduction. He cannot attack using his skill. Let's do his passive first. Gap's passive grants him Fury, which increases attack bonus for every attack he receives. So his second skill unleashes the Fury he built up to one or more targets in the front. Based on his skill set, Gap builds up damage output based on the hits he receives. The more hits he gets, the stronger he is. Also, his first skill grants him CC immunity and damage reduction. He is an attacker with raw strength. So the Haki recommendation for him is Penetration, which enhances bus damage for his second skill. Other good Hakis are Crit Damage, Skill Damage Multiplier, or even Attack. As for Room Attribute, I recommend Combo Attribute, and other Attack Enhance Attribute should be just fine. In terms of Formation, I highly recommend that you put Garp in the middle because that is a high-risk spot since most attackers in this game will attack the mid position. Remember, more hits Garp receives, the more powerful Garp can get. Due to his uniqueness as a beginner, you can even use Garp as a tank. Garp's damage is very decent, his immunity to debuff can buy his team some survival time in some situations, such as in Arena, when enemy Wano Zoro silencing everyone. So in conclusion, I rate Garp 8 out of 10. He's a very unique hero, he does very decent damage, his immunity skills can buy your team some time recovering from crowd control. He may not be in your go-to lineup, but he definitely adds variety to the gameplay. Rank him up for fun! Ok guys, that concludes today's video. As always, please leave your questions in the comments below. Take care and uh, thanks for watching!